Hey guys, Raja Mizan here and uh, in this video I will show you how to reference your financial analysis to a good standard. This video is a sequel of my previous video which was 7 features of a comprehensive financial analysis. So if you haven't watched uh, that video uh, yet then I would recommend that uh, you watch that video first and then come back. This video is mostly relevant to those uh, students who are doing a coursework which requires them to calculate their own uh, ratios rather than take from websites and, and, and databases. This video is going to help you to enhance the work which you have already done. Referencing is a, a very important part of uh, the coursework at the UK universities which, which assesses your research skills. Although uh, most of the courseworks would have around 10% of the total coursework marks exclusively for a referencing however if you do not do uh, good referencing or proper referencing then you will not get a distinction because it can have an impact on your overall marks as well and this could actually lead you towards plagiarism so it is important that uh, uh, that you follow a proper uh, referencing protocol uh, when you are writing down your uh, your coursework the referencing for uh, a financial analysis is slightly different than referencing for courseworks which are purely uh, um, theoretical and of uh, academic na nature. The coursework on um, financial analysis mostly requires you to write down a business report or a report rather than uh, an essay or an article uh, so referencing works slightly differently and in my experience many students apply the referencing exactly the same way the way they have done in, in other modules there will be two different areas of referencing which I will be looking into the first one is the theoretical referencing which is very similar to uh, the referencing which you carry out in um, in your other uh, essays or articles for other modules which are not uh, which are not database which are not numerical in nature uh, and then the other part uh, w which is more relevant to financial analysis is going to be how to reference your data or primary data uh, more precisely business reports uh, essentially do not require in business world to be referenced uh, the way our academic uh, reports are uh, required to be referenced. However, because you're writing a business report in an academic uh, environment, it is important that you follow the rules um, of that environment. So when it comes to um, referencing, um, I will look into deal with Harvard referencing protocols for writing, um, writing an article or an essay, which is very similar to the other modules. Uh, where the coursework does not require to deal with the primary data. The main thing is that uh, you need to follow the referencing protocol which your university recommends. Most of the universities in the UK, they recommend uh, Harvard referencing. However, the, the, main, uh, the main points in Harvard referencing system is that uh, when, you, uh, when you quote somebody, and this means when you use exactly the same words which have been used by, by an author, uh, you need to use inverted commas and uh, then after after the quotation you need to write down the author or author's names uh, along with the year of publication so this would be in the body of the work and then in the list of referencing you will have to uh, write down the full details of the publication uh, the publishers and the year of publication. The same rules apply when you paraphrase uh, somebody's work. So you're not using the exact words of the author but you take the concept from there and then you put it in your own words but you need to reference it. The only difference in this case uh, would uh, from quotations would be that you do not use uh, inverted commas uh, in paraphrasing. Paraphrasing can help you to show that you understand uh, the theory uh, uh, theory presented by an author. When you reference uh, your authors, there are uh, th sometimes there is one author, two authors, and and three authors. So um, the the rules are that uh, if there's one author, is simple author, 
uh, surname and um, and the year of publication if there are two authors then you will have um, two authors for example Elliot and Elliot these are two brothers who, who wrote a book so Elliot and Elliot um, uh, and the year of uh, year of publication and if there are two more than two authors then you can use uh, the name of one author and then you can write down at all with um, with with the year of publication uh, in the referencing list is going to be exactly the same as you would do for one or, or, or two authors it is important that you use sources which are of good quality using uh, low quality sources like wikipedia uh, investopedia or any other websites which do not have um, uh, an official backing uh, would actually um, um, give you less score um, for your references um, when we look at your references we don't only look at the contents but we look at the quality of resor resources so if you have used official websites you will get higher marks and if you use uh, unofficial official websites mean ACCA, ICAW, IFAX uh, official website a company your company's official website or London Stock Exchange uh, official website will give you higher marks Another important thing uh, in, in referencing is to give a variety of sources. So that means that there are three main uh, variety of sources. Um, one is books uh, published in the UK. Other ones are articles published in the renowned uh, um, journals. And uh, then the third source, which is very commonly used now, is the websites. I do expect you to use all of these sources. Weighting of the sources should be one third of each type. So if you're using 10 sources in total, then you should use at least three of each type um, to give to give a variety. As a, as, a, as a general rule, you should have at least five sources for 1000 words. So if you're doing 2000 words, you should use at least 10, 10 sources. Ideally, you should not uh, use quotations for more than 150 words for 1000 words if you use too much of that uh, when we check it through a plagiarism uh, software too much red comes up that means you have used too much other people's words which is not a good idea so 150 is maximum for quotation when it comes to paraphrasing however you can use uh, a lot more uh, uh, the concept of others so you can uh, source theories and in that sense i would say yet that you can actually use up to 300 words of uh, uh, of paraphrasing taking concepts from other uh, other other authors other researchers and use them in your own work and this would leave you with 50% uh, or 500 words for your own uh, for your own analysis for your own reflection for your own thoughts for own conclusion, recommendation, and so on. So to uh, to summarize this, uh, 150 words for quotation, uh, 300 words for paraphrasing other people's work, and then uh, rest should be your own thinking, own uh, synthesis of the information you have used so far. This concludes our how to reference our theories. Now we will move on to our uh, data referencing rule number one is when you submit financial analysis as your coursework only submit it as one file I've seen this many many times that's what students do they submit their own work uh, which is in word format then they do their calculation in Excel uh, submit that in, in Excel and then they attach the whole financial annual reports of the companies also as part of your coursework so they sometimes they submit two, three, four, five different files. That is not acceptable. Your work should be compiled in one file, which is Word or PDF, if uh, whatever uh, the uh, format requirements are, are for your assignment. The second thing which you should keep in mind that the main data source uh, uh, should be part of your work, part of your file. And that means it should be in, given in appendix. Now, many students make a mistake and uh, they think they can attach the whole annual report as their data source, which is an incorrect um, uh, referencing. 
of data. This is simply telling the client that, okay, this is my report and that's my data source. And you can uh, go through the whole file to, to see if I done the work properly or not. You should give the financial statements and these are the financial statements are income statement uh, balance sheet statement of cash flow and statement of changes and equity whichever four of these statements whichever you have used in your um, um, in your analysis in your calculations you should use uh, you should give them in your appendix not give a, a link to the annual reports but actually include these pages um, in your annual reports Sometimes what happens when you're calculating a ratio, all of the information is not available in the actual income statements, but it is available in the notes to the accounts. For example, when you're looking at accounts receivables, uh, the company's balance sheet would give account accounts and other receivables. However, your formula wants you to use only account receivables and th those would be available in the, in the notes. Uh, so you should actually go to the no that note and uh, and include that note uh, or the whole page uh, from that from the annual reports in your appendix as well i have made another video on the ratio analysis where i actually show students on how to locate data for your ratios we should check out uh, on my channel the aforementioned rules apply to the primary data the logic of this is that uh, if uh, your coursework requires you to calculate ratios of Ted Baker, then you should give your marker all of the material which is needed to verify your calculations. These points are mostly relevant uh, what to put in appendix, but you display a lot of data in, in, in the main body of your report as well. For example, uh, tables. Again, uh, I would recommend that you watch my uh, previous video on this, seven features of a comprehensive ratio analysis where I have shown how to uh, how to do that. You show um, uh, final results um, in the table, uh, in a graph, uh, in, in the main body of the work. You should reference those tables uh, by giving a small note uh, below the table, below the graph, that the detailed calculation is available in Appendix 3 or Appendix C, whatever you want to call that. So if you do all this, then you have referenced your data properly. More help which you can provide is that when you give financial statements, income statement or balance sheet, um, and you give a whole page of that, you should give a whole page of that, but extra help which you can give to your um, marker is you can, you can highlight the figures which you have used and your marker would obviously be uh, pleased with that because you have helped them to mark your work in, in less time. So if you follow these, I'm confident that referencing for your uh, work will be uh, really good and uh, it will help you to get good marks. I hope you like this video. If you did, then please give it a thumb up, subscribe to my channel. Uh, there'll be plenty of more videos coming up and uh, please share it with your friends. Thank you.